Podcast with your host, Joe Valentine and Sebastian Castellanos. Let's get into the show! Show! Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. You know how we do it around here? Uh, you send in the good stuff, the source material, and we get to work diving deep, uncovering the fascinating stuff you might have missed. Always a fun challenge. And this time, you know, since Halloween's right around the corner, we thought we'd uh, we'd tackle something a little different, a little spooky. Oh, this is going to be good. Lullabies. It's amazing how something that seems so, I don't know, innocent can become something else entirely when you really start to, you know, pick it apart. Right. I mean, we sing them to soothe babies to sleep, lull them into dreamland, but right. the one you sent in, Rockabye Baby, well, let's just say the article you sent from Gore TV paints a pretty creepy picture. Okay, Gore TV definitely lives up to its name. Yeah. They're all about finding the horror in everyday things. Exactly. And their take on Rockabye Baby, it's called, get this, Gore TV rocks the cradle. Rockabye Baby is survival horror, and let me tell you, it's a wild ride. I bet. They don't just like analyze the lyrics or whatever they create this whole vibe like straight out of some horror movie imagine if you will this like cradle just hanging there but it's way up high oh no in this massive ancient tree all shrouded in darkness see they're already using those really vivid descriptions as sensory language to set the scene yeah like you can practically hear the branches creaking in the wind right? yeah it's classic horror right there setting that tone that mood it's all about making you uneasy just hinting that something's not quite right and the wind they could have just said gentle breeze or something but no they went with low ghostly whispers like the tree itself is speaking and that personification you know giving human qualities to nature that just plays on our primal fear of the unknown right mm. like we're not alone out in the woods makes you wonder what's hiding just beyond the trees oh i know it's creepy okay so i've got the spooky tree the whispering wind now bring in those lyrics okay suddenly that wind's whisper doesn't seem so soothing anymore it's like a warning right because the bow really could break and that baby straight down see that's what gets me about horror it plays on our deepest fears. And as humans, we are naturally protective of children. So the idea of a baby being helpless in danger, it just gets under our skin. And you know what really gets me? That part about the cradle falling? They don't sugarcoat it at all. They describe it as a terrifying plunge. Not some gentle descent, not exactly bedtime story material, is it? And we expect lullabies to be comforting, right? So when they flip the script like that, present them in the sinister light, it throws you off balance. And it gets worse. Just when you think they can't take it any further, they hit you with that line about the ground below littered with remnants of broken cradles and tattered blankets. Oh, wow. Like, this isn't just a one-time thing. This lullaby, it's hinting at some kind of horrible, repeating nightmare, like a curse almost. Yeah, like it's almost hardwired into us, right, to be afraid for them. Totally. And you know what's crazy? Rockabye Baby isn't the only one. There are tons of lullabies out there, and some of them. Let's just say they have these really dark backstories or hidden meanings. Oh, absolutely. For centuries, lullabies, they weren't just about getting babies to sleep. They were also like a way for parents to deal with, well, with the very real dangers their kids faced back then especially when so many babies didn't even make it to childhood. That's a really good point. It's like so many of them are saying, go to sleep, little baby, or else the scary thing will get you, you yeah, know? Exactly. And that's what Gore TV is picking up on, right? Yeah. They're taking those anxieties we still have about, you know, keeping children safe from the unknown. And then they use that horror lens mm -hmm. to like magnify it. In fact, they actually call the whole lullaby a curse. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That takes it to a whole other level. Right. Like it's not just bad luck if the bow breaks. It's like something deliberate. Something evil is at work, which plays on that fear, that fear of forces beyond our control. Those things we can't control, like a storm or, I don't know, a giant tree that randomly decides to drop a cradle. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so maybe Gore TV isn't writing a history paper here, you know? <laughs> but it really makes you think about lullabies differently. I think that's what's so great about it. They're using horror, not just to scare us, but to get us thinking about these cultural anxieties that we don't always talk about, you know? Yeah. These fears about protecting the innocent, how fragile life is, even our own mortality. It's all there, hidden in something as simple as a lullaby. It's like they found this hidden message, this whole other side to something we always thought was so pure, makes you wonder what other secrets are out there hiding in plain sight. So uh, where does that leave us? I kind of feel like I need like 
a mental reset after all that talk about, you know, vengeful trees and broken cradles. <laughs> it's amazing how something so familiar can just like turn on you, right? But that's what's so cool about a fresh perspective. I mean, Gore TV takes something we think of as, you know, comforting, innocent, a lullaby, and suddenly, bam, they're showing you this whole undercurrent of, well, creepiness that was there the whole time. Like finding out your childhood home has a, like a secret basement or something. Right. And <laughs> that, that creepy feeling, it's not coming from nowhere. It's tapping into these very real anxieties we all have, especially, I think, as parents or anyone who's responsible for a child. You know, you want to protect them, keep them safe, sing them to sleep, but the world. It's a scary place sometimes. It really is. And those anxieties, those fears, they get passed down through generations, sometimes in the strangest ways, mm. like hidden within a lullaby of all things. Makes you wonder, right? What other hidden meanings are we missing? Even in the stuff we think we know, like the back of our hand. It's a good reminder that there are always more layers to uncover, different ways of seeing things. And that even like the simplest thing, a lullaby, can have these incredible depths. This deep dive has definitely changed how I think about lullabies. Gore TV might be, you know, having a little fun with this one, but they also gave us a lot to think about. For sure. So next time you hear Rockabye Baby, you might find yourself listening a little closer, you know, not just to the melody, but to those echoes of history and the, um, well, the shadows they cast. And maybe thinking twice about that big old tree in the backyard. Thanks for exploring this with us. Whether you find it creepy, insightful, or a little bit of both, hopefully this deep dive into Rockabye Baby has given you something to hum about. Yeah!